Kiev is now expected to launch a full-scale military operation in eastern Ukraine. The deadline it's set for protesters to lay down their arms and leave the government buildings they're occupying has expired. A wave of unrest and demands of greater autonomy have hit about a dozen cities across the east of the country, starting with the city of Slavyansk. That has seen some of the worst violence in recent days. That's after the Interior Ministry launched an operation to reclaim government offices there. Up to three people were reportedly killed and several more injured on both sides. Let's go live to RT's Maria Fenoshin as she's following the situation in the region and joins us now. So, Maria, the deadline has expired. Um, what can you tell us has been happening in the region? Well, the region is not calm. Anti-government protests have been raging here since President Yanukovych was ousted. And... Uh, uh, since President Yanukovych was ousted and those who refused to recognize the country's new authorities have started taking to the streets, uh, as they say, to make their voice heard. And as they say, when they didn't manage to draw the center's attention, they've started taking governmental buildings, security and police officers in all over the region uh, to again draw the attention from center. Now, today, months on, we see that the situation remains very tense. Tensions continue to escalate all across the east and the south of uh, Ukraine and we see clashes between those supporting the government and protesting against them in uh, major cities and towns here. Uh, most violent of them we've seen in the regional capital Kharkov. There are reports of about 50 people injured and local media reports that in most of the cases those who support the government come here to this region from Kiev and other Western uh, uh, other Western uh, cities we've seen these clashes similar clashes also in the town of Zaporozhye Mariupol and in many others and the situation really uh, uh, tense now here in the region meanwhile since uh, one of the main demands of protesters here is to get more independence from Kiev uh, the center called these people separatists and on Sunday they launched a special anti-terror operation against those taking governmental buildings including police headquarters in the town of Slavyansk just kilometers away from where we are now in the Netsk uh, region with all types of forces taking part in this operation and here in Donetsk people who are still occupying the regional administration building that I hope you can see behind me uh, afraid that this kind of operation is going to happen here again we've been able to speak to those uh, who are inside this building uh, the the night that was supposed to be the last night before the deadline they uh, received from Kiev and this is what these people say about who they are and why they uh, do not uh, agree with Kiev there are no separatists. It's the Ukrainian people who came here. Even in the West, there are Ukrainians who support us, who are against the fascists themselves. A terrorist is someone who came armed to someone else's house, sets it in chaos and demands recognition for this. That's our home. We are not terrorists and not separatists. We think there was a coup d'etat in our country at the end of February. We also don't agree with the fact that the social standards in our country will be established by the EU and IMF from now on. Well, the deadline given uh, from Kiev to these people to liberate this building here in the center of Donetsk has already expired. And now no one can say for sure how the situation will develop and actually everything may happen. So we'll keep you updated.